Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Let's Play. Uh, I totally forgot what episode this one was. Um, if I remember correctly, this should be either 8 or 9. I do believe this is 8. Uh, yeah, this is 8. <laughs> yep, this is 8. Um, uh, I want to apologize. It's kind of a weird kind of a little flow with things. Um, within recording. So, uh, basically, I did have Thanksgiving break. That's why I took the time to not only not record, um, but to have a small break from doing anything. Um, and, uh, it did kind of suck because if I really, if I, if I, worked out my scheduling with and and pacing with this game properly like i could have uh spent my time in the grand underground but instead i didn't i did some very small very minuscule kind of stuff uh one of which i did i well, i'll just show you i'll just show you i got a shiny pachirisu i never expected it i didn't think i would find one i'm so baffled uh, he's got a really good nature, or ability, excuse me, very good ability, pick up, uh, so I can get some good items, that's really it. Um, I'm very happy, and I put him on the team. Put him on the team, everyone's, like, same kind of level. Um, that's really it. That's really all that happened. Oh, and I've been kind of doing stuff with, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the berries? The berry, or the honey trees, excuse me, the honey trees. And, uh... I don't know how they work. I'm being completely honest. I slathered honey like crazy on these trees. I don't know if I have to come back at a very specific time. Or what. But, seriously, I cannot find, uh... I mean, yes, I have picked up, uh, Pokemon from the honey trees. I can kind of show you, but, like... Just whatever. It's there. I really didn't get anything crazy either. Um, the only crazy thing I've gotten was that shiny Patrice suit, which I'm super happy about. The other one was right here. Um, so I got, I don't know, I just named a really stupid stuff, but I got uh, Tascoon and uh, Fermi. Um, that's really it. Truthfully, that is it. So, um, I did get not important at all <laughs> I don't say that's not important at all but I got chain link uh with the from the trade with my girlfriend with Melanie um because we uh she wanted her mistress um and I did fight a couple trainers but I wanted to save the forest kind of thing for this episode and I want to leave this episode with me getting the, the uh the case or whatever the casing the uh Explorer kit for the Grand Underground because uh, that'd be something fun for me to do outside of recording because I do want to keep playing this game. It's just I don't want to be playing it. I want to play this game, like I do, but I don't want to play this game in the in the in the sense of like first time playing it. This is my first time playing through it, and I took the time to not. Um, I took the time to not uh, play this for the sake of recording. So, any chance of me doing stuff where I don't have to progress and also play it while not recording, you know, it just sounds great. I'm not very good with words, and I apologize. And uh, one thing is for sure though, I really want pockets to level up and stuff. Who knows though? <sighs> Possibly we could get uh, a, sh a shiny other electric Pokemon, but for now, I'm definitely keeping pockets on the team. Uh, remind me, I'm gonna definitely like fix up the layout for it too. So definitely gonna fix up the layout for it. I'm very tired. Uh, tired in the sense that I was editing a totally different video for a class. And I don't know if it's my hardware, the hardware that like I'm, or the, the 
the hardware. The, uh, the, 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 the drive that I'm bringing to class, or if it's computers at, this co at the campus. Nothing's working. Nothing's going well. And it's really upsetting. And the project is due in weeks. Great. I'm really trying not to fail. Cheers. Um, what else happened during break? Uh, well, my dad gifted me a watch. Boom. A watch. He gave me another one. He gave me two watches. Uh, you'll probably see the other one some other time, but I really like this one because it's orange. It's orange, I don't know. Um, I played around with Animal Crossing Amiibos. Uh, I won't say what Amiibo I used. I won't say entirely what happened. Um, but yes, I was also playing a lot of Animal Crossing on my break. And, um... Uh... A part of me was like, damn, you know, I really should have been saving some of this for Twitch. Over on twitch.tv slash Alex the Great. But, um, at the same time, uh, I always intended Animal Crossing through streams to just be something for me to chill a bit. Something I can just relax and eat. Which I will definitely actually bring up Animal Crossing again. I promise. Um... It was a game I really wanted to play as well. Um, I haven't really gotten to it, which really sucks. I should. I probably will. So, I don't know. Um, I'm really thinking of spending my Christmas break at home. Uh, we don't have very much... We don't have a whole lot of time uh, on campus because of, uh, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas being so close together. And the break and everything. I'm really thinking of keeping uh, my break time here on campus. And I think if I do that, it will give me a lot of opportunity, a lot of time to, to uh, relax, ease myself, and put out stuff that I want to do. Content I want to put out, you know, stuff like that. And just ultimately relax, you know? I really kind of wish I did stay home for Thanksgiving break. I didn't have the best time, but I mean... I got to relax a little bit, but if I stayed home, I could have burnt through this game. I could have uploaded more. I probably could have gotten more stuff done and just ultimately, uh, I could have just, uh, could have done some Grand Underground stuff, you know? Um, and then I would just relax. I would have had a good time. I would have relaxed and would have been a okay. I think Patrisu here gets Spark at level 13, I do believe. I don't know entirely how... That's one of the, my favorite things about any new Pokemon game, is how is their moveset? It's so weird. It, it, was, it was always uh, different in the previous generations because it, they had a, a specific and like certain flow to their stuff. You know? So, for example, if I'm playing, like, X and Y, I know B gets, like... I'm just throwing something out there. I know he gets return at level 12. I don't know that for sure. Just something going out. Uh, I know B gets return at level 12, right? And I know he's gonna keep return at level 12 in Oras, because that's how Gen 6 kind of works out. This is still Gen 8, but this is also really fucking weird because uh, not every Pokemon exists and they're very, they're just so weird and different. So I don't know what Patrice gets. And at the same time, I don't know, he did just die. Um, uh, he is, as far as I know, he's not in Sword and Shield. So, um, so I don't know what Patrice will get. Probably nothing crazy, nothing good. Um, as far as I know, I think I don't think a whole lot has changed either. Um, with Pokemon being absent from this game, the meta game is gonna shift a bit, and because it's in a generation that's set in like a totally different uh, 
period of time. You know, it is essentially a whole remake, but it is also, at the same time, it's... It's Gen 4, but now it's in Gen 8. Kind of a thing. So, uh, I still think Garchomp is gonna be, like, one of the best Pokemon ever. Um... But at the same time, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that might be able to help, like, counter it. So... You know, back then, like, Garchomp was probably at his peak in Gen 4. But now in Gen 5, Gen 8... Damn! I, oh, I, I need Crick Attack gone. I need Crick Attack gone. Um, now with Generation 8, uh, I think, you know, Garchomp may not be as crazy as he was in Gen 4. If you couldn't already tell, I am ranting like crazy. I don't know what I'm saying. But I think it's just because I'm alone and I'm very exhausted and tired. Uh, but still have the energy to play Pokemon because I love Pokemon. I don't know if you knew that, but it's it's such a treat to play So yeah Yo destroy this bug I can't wait for the grand underground. I'm gonna do an episode where I play through it for the first time a little bit And until I get to a point where uh, in the Grand Underground, there is enough significance in progression, I will show it off. Like, for example, I'll find Houndoom. Maybe, uh, I think, from what I think I know about the Grand Underground, Houndoom is not as rare of an encounter to find compared to, to like, other Pokemon. So, I might hold off on finding a Houndoom, or I'll probably maybe Shiny Hunt it, or... I don't know why I said Child Shiny Hunter. I'm definitely not going to Shiny Hunter. Um, but maybe I'll like hold off on doing that. I just want to take time to play through the Grand Underground by myself. Alone, you know. But also at the same time experience it with you guys. So. Yo, I hate being so- I hate being hungry, and yet, I know that I have my- I have- I've had my fill. I hate that a lot. Oof. Um... Let's set up. Ugh! Oh, it's not! You're only attacking him because he's a shiny. No, I was completely blown away. It was just full odds. Shiny Pachirisu. I was trying. I mean, if you don't believe me that I did that, I can just show you. Got some pictures from Animal Crossing. But yeah, no, I just found him in the wild. Um, It was kind of right next to the berry tree that leads from... Uh, um, from that route that we did on episode 7. Uh, to the 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 crossing from Valley Windworks to Floroma. I just found him out of the blue. It was really crazy, and I'm so happy about it. But yeah. Oh damn, Chansey. Mm, kiss him. Kiss that duck. Psyduck is definitely one of the most simplistic, goofy Pokemon ever. I love Psyduck a lot. It's just, it's, it is one of those things. I remember when Mega Evolution was there, and it was at its prime, right? And we always imagined that, like, sky's the limit. I'm so ex like I'm so ex I was so excited because like I was thinking like, dude, they're gonna have put a lot tons of tons of Pokemon are gonna have Megas. So Golduck having a Mega Evolution could have happened. It could have been super fucking amazing, but no, <laughs> no. And it's sad to think that that they don't they 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 really want uh, assumingly they really really wanted to. Uh, out Mega Flygon, and he's not fucking there. 
I don't know what the hell it crossed Game Freak, but when company's mind or whatever, but to say that, oh yeah, actually what you were doing, Mega Evolution, that was wrong. Sorry. I don't see us returning to Megas anytime soon. And if they do, it's, it's, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I imagine if they do do it though, it's going to be fro through uh, like some, some, some sort of like story to it. And even then, it's not entirely looking like Legends Arceus is going to be the prime of, of like story. And that's the thing, like I always imagine, like since its announcement, right, I've always imagined, uh, I've always imagined that, oh damn. I've always, I, since its announcement, I actually always imagined that Legends Arceus would be the game to give us a uh, really good story. From what it sounds like at the moment, it doesn't sound like it's going to be anything crazy. Sorry. And that's so sad because even at the... I think the prime of story... Like, it, I think story with Pokemon really died out after Black and White. Because I think Team Flare, it's not crazy. It's not, it's, it's literally nothing crazy. I just don't, like, I just kind of don't get it. I really don't. I love how they took the idea, this this kind of, uh, I don't want to say misconception, but this ideology of, uh, oh, is it wrong for us to be keeping Pokemon and Pokeballs? I love that concept. I love the fact that they took that concept and they ran with it through a whole narrative, a whole story of this game. Granted, it wasn't the best story ever, but it was very nice and it was very rewarding. A warning? Rewarding? I don't know. Um, but I like it a lot. So. <sighs> you know, like... I think Pokemon has a lot of potential for story. But I don't think- I feel like they just haven't been delivering at all. Sword and Shield story is some of the worst shit I've ever seen in Pokemon. It's not good. It's just- I don't know how to explain it. It's just not good. You go online, I'm sure there's a lot of people who will tell you like, hey, you know. But, and explain it to you why this shit sucks, but it, it's not good. It's not good. I could probably break down a little bit more. Like, it is interesting to see that the dogs are somewhat different now. That they're, uh... Zashin and Zamazenta are in different fields of things. They're in the, like uh, they're in the post game now. I hate Sorbert and Shieldbert for ever. Like I hate them so much. You're, unless they put in Gunter, you're never gonna get me with that. I hate that shit so much. It's not cool. It's not fun at all. It's moments like. Sorter and Shilbert that make me really think, okay, maybe Pokemon is for fucking little kids. I hate that! I hate that so much. I want good stories for Pokemon. I really do. And it's crazy too, even Diamond and Pearl has some really good shit about it. Like, I like to shit on Cyrus a lot, but I think Cyrus is definitely one of the best villains ever with a Pokemon because he's got this very undertone, he's got this like very deep and cold thing to him, kind of vibe to him, but at the same exact time, you know, you ha you, you, you're able to feel some sort of empathy with him. And that's just, there's something about that that makes me feel sad, you know? Um, okay. I know I ranted on a lot about Pokemon's story, but... 
Oh, so I was I learned something uh, over break because I didn't want to progress because through the, through the game because I knew that like I wanted to save it for a Pokemon or for uh, for the story. I wanted. To, what the fuck am I saying? I'm ranting a little bit too hard. My mouth is going faster than my uh, than my mind. Let me slow down a bit. So I didn't want to progress because I wanted to save it for content for YouTube. So, I just kept on kind of backtracking and doing the things I knew I could do backtracking. I uh, did berry or honey trees. I keep saying berry trees. I'm so used to that in Sword and Shield. I did it with- I did honey trees and I planted berries. That's why I got a little bit more berries than I normally do. Um, so as you can see, I just planted a berry, like, all, I planted all the berries, and I'm watering this one right here, and for some reason it's registering that I'm also watering this one. And I learned that in front of the building in Floroma Town that has, uh, that sells you the berries, so that has like the flower shop or whatever in front, right? I watered, and they're like, here, here's the door, like, right, hey, here's the door, on the sides, it is the berries. I'm planting, like, this one right here, and as I'm water, and I'm watering them, as I'm watering this one, this one's also being watered, even though I'm nowhere near them. Another thing to take note on, because these games are a little bit broken. I hope they patch these up a little bit. It doesn't look like they might, but... We'll see. We'll see. Um, do I want to fight these guys? Yes! Good. Nah, wait, actually... I'll fight them a little bit. Oh! That, I will also be honest, that is the first pickup held item I've ever gotten for Pachirisu. So thank you for giving me one item since I've ever had you. I'm gonna fight these guys until I get Patrisu to routine. Then he can learn Spark. Um, I wanted to keep these episodes relatively short because it's a pain in the ass to edit on uh, the kind of technology that I got right now. Which is why a PC would be really cool right now, but I don't have the tools and the cash and the money for that. I don't. I just don't have it. So for now. In, du in due time, I'm gonna be editing like this. Uh, and it's best if I don't upgrade immediately because I'm already- I'm just having problems with editing for classes. So, <laughs> I'm a good editor, but I don't know the ins and outs of the technology revolved around it. It's really fucking sucky. I hate it a lot. I'm just getting errors and my shit crashing on me all the time and essentially having to do my whole project over and over again. I, to be fair, I haven't made up too much progress to begin with, but... I know I probably could edit on this, but I just, it just sounds, it's just hard to do. It's really rough and just... It's something I just feel like I might have to do at some point, but... Alright, Patrice, I need you to really kill Goldeen right here. If I kill this Goldeen, can you please get Spark? Please. Quick attack! Kill Goldeen! Alright, I should kill him now. I should kill him now. Okay, level 11. Poor guy. I just whooped his ass. Uh, yeah, this episode is gonna be finished up. When I get to level 13. On trainers are like the best way to do it too. I don't know how honey trees work, but I think it's something I have to do daily, and I don't know if I actually was doing it daily. So, 
Um, I really think I'm gonna try and get Heracross. I really wanna try and find him in the berry trees. And he's a Pokemon I've never truly used before. And I do like Heracross as a buff Pokemon. And as a fighting type too, like... Fighting types are probably one of my least favorite Pokemon types. But they ha there's a lot of cool Pokemon with them. I just don't think I like the typing that much. And like, move sets are just pain in the ass to work around with sometimes. That's kind of why I, I like some of the Pokemon with elemental... Some of the fighting type Pokemon with elemental uh, moves like and whatnot. I like Incineroar and uh, he's not a fighting type. But I like Incineroar and uh, Machamp and stuff like that. For, for, for situations like that, because oh, like for coverage. That's I, that's like the thing I like about fighting types. I love how I can scoop up Machamp and then boom, fire punch if I ever need it. Hit Machamp is really quick, low, low kind of health, but he's he's the definition of a glass cannon. Boom, ice punch, kill the flying type. Stuff like that. I don't know where I brought up fighting types in this episode. <laughs> Um, just really want to kill this magic card, bro. Get him off my screen. I'm very. I was kind of thinking about this earlier. I am pretty excited for Legends. I don't know if I want to record it as a full on Let's Play. Or, if I want, to stream it. And I think I might stream it, but... I'm gonna have to work things out. Like, I really think I do want to, but I don't know if that's, like, a good idea. At the same Um... So... I don't know. Pockets, you need... You need leveling up, bro. I thought you had to see me just quick attack. Hopefully. At least you got to see my my shiny uh, Atresis. I'm very happy I found him. I can't wait to see what shiny Pokemon Melanie scoops up. Just full odds and everything. So uh, I can like... Maybe I can, like, offer the trade. Which, I don't think I will. But, uh, I also kinda... Talked with someone on, like, through Discord and stuff. And it was kinda... It was like a small conversation, like, about how... Full odds... Somewhat kinda full odds... Wasn't really entirely full odds, but... Just normal... Like, just shiny Pokemon you find on your own. Sometimes, like, it could be Gibble, but, like, Shiny Red Gyarados in, in Johto just doesn't have as much worth as a Pokemon like my Pachirisu. He may not be the best Pachirisu out there, but he's- I just found him completely out of the blue, craziest shit ever, and I'm really happy about it. And because of that, he's like so much. He's just so much more special to me, and that's probably why I'm not going to get rid of him. You know, I have shinies and stuff in like my own home box and everything, but it's not nothing crazy. It truly isn't. It is nothing crazy because you know sometimes I've gotten them through giveaways. I've won them in other ways be it like my own kind of form of catching them and stuff like that but like um but like yeah you know that's what, so like <sighs> i don't know i just uh i really like my pa shiny patch Risu because he's just got him completely out of the blue he's full of odds nothing else to it and Super crazy rare that I found him. He's a Pokemon. He's a, he's a shiny but Pokemon that I really like. I think he's a good shiny to begin with. And most importantly, he's a shiny that I found myself. That puts in so much worth to me. And I think that's also why you have people like A-Drive. 
a lot of all the shiny hunters and stuff that just are so that's just their brain the shiny pokemon and i think it's just got this it, their own uh story to it you know there's something different about finding a shiny for yourself you know and and, and where they're actually be from hunting it or just finding it out of the blue crazy like how I do with my patch recently. So, and then that whole the whole thing about it just being shiny anyways makes me think like, oh, you know, am I going to keep it because it's shiny? I feel like I should. Um, or I could use a Pokemon I haven't used in quite a long time, like Electivire. But I think because he's shiny, you know, I'd be willing to put up with him, you know. Um, yeah. Okay, well, I'm not gonna end it off here. Because there's some, like, stuff going on. Cynthia! Oh! Oh! She is my favorite champion. Let's just get that out of the way. My favorite champion ever. Why? It's hard as shit. She's always in the hardest champion ever. I hate hearing this argument like, oh, but then lore and technicality. I don't know, TM94. Within lore and technicality. Oh, it's kind of. What the fuck am I talking about? I need uh, the gym badge for it. I hate hearing the fact that within lore and technicality, uh. She's. gonna lose to Leon because he is. uh. the strongest, like, champion. Um, like, you can't argue with me about that. That's just not true. That's just not the case. You know? This is not true. Cynthia could fucking destroy you. Oh, man. I'm just... I'm doing this, huh? Oh, I'm not doing it. Okay. Um, okay. Seriously though, Cynthia would wipe the floor with Leon. I hate hearing this argument. Sure, he may be like the greatest champion. He's probably, yeah, don't get me wrong, he's a strong champion, but also, you are he's in the fucking Gala region where I could get really fucking powerful Pokemon anyways. And also... <laughs> it's just, it's different. Cynthia is uh, is winning every fucking time. It's like, who would win in a fight? Goku or Superman? No. Uh, who would win in a fight? The fucking, uh... Hulk or... Iron Man, you know? Alright, well, I'm in the un Grand Underground. Um... I really didn't expect to be right here, but I'm going to take the time to do it on my own. Just a little bit. And the next episode, I think I'm going to explore just like for like 10 minutes. And I'll do the stuff in uh, Eternal City. Um, so with that. Yeah, with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, there's much more... <laughs> of a ranting kind of uh this discussion based kind of episode really didn't expect that to happen but and i don't know what came over me i don't know how i went from one episode of not saying anything to having so much trouble trying to say anything to now i'm just all kinds of words i don't know how that happened but if you guys like hearing that cool uh if you guys like today's episode at all thank you guys you know thank you uh, if you guys did enjoy, definitely be sure to leave likes on this video, uh, positive comments down below, all different kinds of fun stuff. Uh, shoot me, like, friend codes, maybe? I don't know. Uh, it'd be really fun to do Grand Underground stuff with you guys. That sounds like a lot of fun. Or trades and battles and stuff online uh, within the 
spectrum of where I'm at now. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, uh, subscribe and ring the bell. Yeah, I've done so already because, uh, yeah, I'm pushing out these episodes. Still, you know, I'm really busy, but yet I love this game and I love making content. So, definitely do that. Uh, with that being said, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. See ya!